All right, good morning, guys. Uh, today, or uh, at this moment, we are going to talk about placing plan views on a sheet. Okay, so that's basically what we created a sheet for is because we're going to place a view, uh, which will later be printed. Uh, so what you're looking at is what's going to be the printed view. Um, and what we called in AutoCAD as paper space, okay? So, or layouts or something like that. But anyway, this is Revit, so we're going to use Revit uh, terms. We are on a sheet. We're going to put a plan view on the sheet. Real easy. Real easy to place a plan view. One thing you have to remember, now these are our plan views over here in our uh, project browser. I can only place a plan view on a sheet one time. Um, I can't create another sheet and place a plan view that has already been used on a previous sheet. A second time I can't I can't do that I can only do it once which is why we make copies uh, which was actually one of our lessons a while back um, but that's why we place make copies to uh, uh, actually edit and modify to show specific information for a specific sheet um, so I am going to drag this TOW1 top of wall one drop it right there on the sheet and ESA project. Okay, so we just place that plan view on the sheet. Uh, we may want to change the scale um, depending on how this view sits on the page. We may want to take up more paper space. We may not. Okay, we could just leave it like that. It would be perfectly fine. But let's say we did want to increase the size of this on this uh, sheet. So I would double click inside what we call the viewport. Okay, which is the port that holds the view of the drawing. All right, and I'm going to come down to the bottom right here to my uh, scale where I changed my scale. And let's say I want to make this, right now it's 1 8, so I want to make it, let's say, 3 16. Okay, so it makes it a little bit larger. Um, I need to adjust it and center it back up on the sheet again. So I'm going to get out of the viewport. And then I can click on the drawing and move it get it centered on the sheet okay now these lines you see right here do not matter they're not going to show up on the printed page however some of these things will or may need to show uh, as you see some of my elevation markers are outside of the sheet so if I need those elevation markers I will have to double click again and I'll have to move these markers and put them back on the page Okay, double click in a white space outside of the viewport, and there we go. Okay, um, you see the uh, little the uh, drawing name and this line show up down at the bottom off the page, and we can adjust that outside of the viewport. We don't need to be in the viewport to do that, or we can't be in the viewport to do that. So really, all I'm going to do is click on it, and it gives me a little move icon or a move grip and I can move it onto the page where it belongs. Now if I want to lengthen or shorten this line I have to click once inside of the viewport. Not double click, just one click inside the viewport and it'll give me a grip. And then I can change that grip to be whatever, to wherever I need it to be. And then again clicking outside in the white space. Okay, so now I'm done. I have placed the drawing. I have modified it a little bit, changed its scale, and, um, you know, we're good to go from there. So that is it on placing plan views on a sheet.